Hey everyone, welcome to the Ask Bess Show. How are you today? Um, I, I, this is Bess McCarty. I am here every Saturday and Sunday at noon Eastern Time uh, to answer questions, to be here for you, to sit with you, to also learn from you. My message is, you matter. I know you're going through things. I hear you. I'll respond. There is a problem that for every problem there is a solution and you are bigger than any problem that is before you. And you're not alone. I'll help. I'll share with you in a little bit my four-step real conversations method. You move from problem to solution real, real fast. Shamala, you're first again. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Thank you for being here. It's, it's, it's so nice to know I can turn on these shows and that, that likely you're going to be there. <laughs> so Shamala is a dear friend. Um, follow her. She is a very spiritual, wise, kind, loving, network marketing, business lady, smart, um, um, all of these things. Follow Shamala on her page and uh, enjoy her posts too. So the t topic today is be that which the wind cannot blow. And I learned this from my, I heard, learned this phrase when I heard it from my spiritual teacher, Harold Klimp. I thought, I love that because haven't I been buffeted enough by the storms of life <laughs> and plenty of winds of change? And um, what, is, what would it be like to be um, something that's constant and strong and can withstand those winds? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, first of all, i um, like to invite some people here. Invite people to join in. And if you know someone, it's a spiritual topic today. I'm going to be using the word God. So, uh, but that can be whatever spiritual um, relationship that you might have with something bigger than us, the creator, the divine. I'm going to be using that word. So, uh, because that's just the most accepted word I know for, for the, the creator, the thing that, that's bigger than us. Um, so, if you know someone who um, is would like some personal growth spiritual tips today. Uh, love if you share with them while I invite people to. And if you know a personal growth or spiritual growth Facebook group that could, you could share it with them and they could watch along with us at the same time. So that's making beautiful use of the internet. <clears throat> so who is this show? This is for anyone who has a question that you can ask me here on the show in the comments or by my Facebook Messenger to keep it anonymous that way. Uh, but you can ask any question about network marketing, career, job, relationships, communication, health, weight loss, spiritual fulfillment, and I will respond. You may or may not like my response, but, um, but I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely respond. And who am I <clears throat> to be doing this? Well, I am a, a holistic health practitioner for 30 years, over 30 years, and a body-mind therapist have helped hundreds and hundreds of people get past, break through negative beliefs and fears to who they really are and reach their goals and live the life that they're meant to. My background, um, Reiki master, neuromuscular therapist, inner child therapist, um, mother, minister, um, head teacher at Body Mind College for 15 years in San Diego, trained therapist, trained therapist for 15 years like this. Welcome, Fred. Welcome, Heather. And published author, speaker, um, all, of, all of these things, all of the, and, but most important, I've done my own work and I do my own work daily. So a person, a coach, a therapist can only lead someone as far as they have done their own work. So that's supreme, supremely important. And there's no shortage of work to do on myself, <laughs> uh, as, I'll as, as, as I'll share kind of vulnerably today. Um, life is showing me that there's plenty, plenty of work to do <laughs> inside myself. So I just keep doing that. And welcome, Bertha. How are you? It's been a long time. And welcome, Linda. How are you, dearie? Linda, um, you might recognize the topic, be that which the wind cannot blow. Linda and I are both students of Harold Klimp, and um, that is where I first heard this phrase. I'm not sure where it originally came from, 
but that is what I want to be in my life. So let's go, let's go into that right now. Um, recently, I was shown the work that I have yet to do on myself because I was getting a lot of results. I have been getting a lot of results in my work and some compliments, a lot, a lot of compliments. They were flowing in, tumbling in, and uh, referrals and everything. So I started feeling, um, welcome Linda, yeah. <laughs> and so I started feeling kind of proud of myself and a little better than I was yesterday about myself. And I thought, okay, that's pride. And that moved me, that kind of made me feel a little giddy that the compliments and um, the, the, all the compliments that I was getting, they were pretty big compliments. And I thought, okay, Bess, there you go. You're, you're getting out of balance. You're letting, you're letting this stuff move you. And it wasn't too long ago when I felt like, okay, I was, um, there were some cases where um, there were some misunderstandings and all of that, and I felt less than. So if either of those things can move me, if praise or blame can move me, then I'm not being that which the wind cannot blow, right? So that would be the social opinions, um, the outward circumstances, even the weather, right? It could be good or bad weather. And am I the same person inside? Am I a consistent person inside <clears throat> through all that, which I think takes a steadiness, <clears throat> excuse me, and a strength. But I think it also know, means knowing who I truly am. Some people call this soul. I like to call it that. Soul is consistent. Soul is, is there and consistent and is the same uh, built of love, no matter if, if the, the, the opinions are for you or against you. And so I realized, okay, I've got work to do about that. And the way that I, the way that I do that is let me go back to God again. Let me realize my purpose, my mission here, and that sometimes things are going to flow uh, with the way that I like, and sometimes they're not. Let me realize that, and let me be the, the same consistent person, you know, not an egotistical person, not a shame-filled person, according to the events or the storm or the weather of the day, the social opinion weather of the day. And, um, <clears throat> Bertha, ah. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, Bertha and I have worked together, and i um, so glad to see you again. It's been a little while, hasn't it? And um, to be present and be the observer. Yes, to be the observer. Who is it that is observing life, right? It's, it's me, the, my spiritual self, my higher self, not my emotional self, not my mental self, not my physical self, because I'm really not those things. I am really something else that can perceive and observe, and some people call that soul. So a couple more examples. Um, about that um, since I have also been called the shrink of MLM and I, my niche is coaching network marketers a couple examples of that is uh, network marketers who make calls and perhaps the the weather is for you that day and your ship is going fast and it's going good and everything um, and perhaps you get you know you're making your, your calls and people just seem to love you and your product and people are signing up as customers and distributors uh, maybe you get one today and you're really excited about that and think, okay, this is how it's going to be from the future. You know, it's going to keep being good. Or you get a bunch this week or a bunch this month and you think, okay, this is, <clears throat> this is my destiny. This is my future. This is the way it's always going to go. And, uh, and then the tides turn and there might be a down part of the cycle too. And maybe it's a long time before people <clears throat> come on board with you. And then you can get discouraged and say, well, it's going to be like this forever and ever, right? And sometimes when it's up, we think it's going to be like this forever, and when it, then we're, we're, we're shocked when it changes. Or when it's down, we think it's going to be like this forever and ever, and we might have a discouraged attitude that can prevent the cycle from swinging back up. So we want to be neutral. We want to be constant. <clears throat> we want to be strong and clear, no matter what the weather or what the, what, what the cycles. <clears throat> but just remember that things always do have cycles. The, weather, the seasons do. Day and night has a cycle. The seasons have a cycle. So there's always going to be summer and blooming and harvest and flowers and everything. And there's always going to be the winter where it looks like it's dead <clears throat> in all of our lives. But don't worry, it will change. It, it cycles through. And there's a purpose for every one of the seasons. 
There's a purpose for the day and a purpose for the night. The night is for recharging or integrating or digesting what happened during the day. So we can't be active all the time. But there is that learning or integrating cycle in everything. Even childhood development, I studied that when my son was growing up and I thought, okay, there's a consolidation phase. Usually for six months, the child does good, right? And then for the other six months of that year, the child is going through uncomfortable uh, phases where he's adjusting to the new level of growth. Then he's integrated, then he's coasting, and then he goes through that, that, that challenging six months again. And according to the childhood experts, that happens about every six months. There's a six months of ease and six months of kind of consolidation. So these are normal, the cycles. Welcome, Mihai. Mihai is always leaves his wisdom here. I'm glad you can join in. <clears throat> Another example of be that which the wind can blow is um, um, being in love. Someone comes into our life and, and we feel wonderful and it, it's a high cycle and everything, or losing someone, end of a relationship or a death or, or something like that, or even with their health, you know, riding high on good health or, or losing it and feeling discouraged or even depressed. So let me talk about the love here for a minute. Sometimes when um, a new love relationship comes in, we can almost forget God. Like, okay, this is all I need, this is wonderful, this is feeling good, but don't let it replace God. Neither when that goes out, don't let our grief replace God. Let us remember God in both those cycles. So to me, that is being what, that which the wind cannot blow, is being, having my anchor in God and putting, putting God first and being in touch with my inner guidance. Now, God's presence and our inner guidance are always here. They're like the stars. They're always in the sky. Did you know that? Or did you ever think of that? The stars are always in the sky. But when the sun is out, it kind of eclipses the stars and we don't, um, it's too bright to see them. And that's like our everyday life can get so busy, our distractions, our busyness, all the details of life can be so present and grab our attention so much that we forget the stars are there or the inner guidance is there or that God is there. But at night, that's the chance when those things die down, the sun goes down, you can see the stars out that were always there. And that's the way it is to me with my inner guidance. It's always there and the presence of God is always there, ready for me to tune into it, <clears throat> available for me to listen, to be present, to connect with this source of life, to recharge from it, to get my inner guidance and answers, or even my comfort there. So what I need to do every day is dial down my distractions of the day. I call it my spiritual exercise that I do every morning. Every morning it helps me to get in touch um, with this divine guidance and um, to do my best during that day. And I've heard other business people say as well, other entrepreneurs like Allie Brown and other people said that their spiritual time is their best part of the day. That's when they, um, <laughs> that is when they tune in to their inner wisdom and inner guidance and get direction, maybe some from somewhere beyond themselves that gives them ideas they wouldn't have normally have thought of or be open to the creative inspirations they normally would not have and to to have a better life relationships business health all these things the three things we like health wealth and love right so that is my um stories for today my thoughts for today does this resonate something with you did you get a takeaway would you mind sharing it because i'd love to hear what means something to you and people do read the, the comments after a live, and this will kind of summarize for them uh, what, what was on the live, but also it, it, it um, helps us to pinpoint what maybe was important for you. So I'd love to hear any takeaways. Uh, a thank you for your likes and loves, um, or just let me know that you're there. Just say, um, um, uh, or, or if, if, some, if this meant something, um, if you relate to, to me, wanting to be immune to the storms of life, can you relate to that? Just type yes, because then, then I'll know that you're there. And also, if you're watching the replay, I'd love if you type in replay, because then I can thank you for that. So, um, 
have a look on Messenger. Oh, Mihai probably left a message over there. Well, thank you very much. And thank you, everybody, for joining. So I am here every Saturday and Sunday at noon Eastern time. Let's see, the topic for next Saturday. I have that. Um, <clears throat> Yes, um, it, it's about a test. Next Saturday, I'm going to talk about tests, tests of life. Um, and that means when people tell you things that make you doubt yourself, it could be a test. So I'm going to talk about that next Saturday at noon Eastern time. And if you would like a reminder before each show, I text people about a half an hour before each show um, so that you can be sure and hop on. Uh, be glad to do that. Just Facebook message me the best number to text you. And... If, um, oh, the, the four steps real conversations method, I meant to share with you my real conversations method that I've developed for over 20 years, helps me to solve problems fast, working with myself, students, and clients. Okay, this is the, this is the tip, the real conversations tip. Rather than tell you four steps, I'm just going to real quick type one. And that is that every problem is the sign of an unmet need. When you uncover that need that's behind the problem, and meet it in a healthy way, then the problem disappears. And that can happen in seconds or minutes, you guys. I use this every day since I discovered these four steps. I didn't create them, I just observed the way that I moved from problem to solution real fast. And when I was working with clients and students, I said, hey, I think there's a pattern here. I think there's four steps. And I just wrote them down. I thought these are teachable. Anybody can learn these four steps. That is that you um, have a problem, get in touch with the emotion behind it, and then the need behind that, the unmet need, and then meet that need in a healthy way. And then the problem disappears, literally. So this can be a small block, you know, like uh, an unhappiness, what's keeping you from making your network marketing calls today, or any other goal that you have, something keeping you from your goals, you feel stuck or unhappy. Um, simply say, what am I needing today? Now, if you have a hard time uncovering that, I researched and collected a list of needs, human needs, physical, emotional, spiritual. This is the most collect, complete collection of needs I've ever, ever seen. I studied all the top teachers of needs, Maslow and everybody else, uh, compiled with my own experiences and observations, put these in a chart called the Real Conversations chart. And you, um, I'm making this available as free tools for everybody. And you can get this at the real at the Facebook event, Real Conversations class. Open that up and you'll see that um, it tells you about a class on Tuesday nights that I have as well as the free tools. So you are welcome to get those at the Facebook event, Real Conversations class. And I'll, I'll put a link for that in a few minutes as well. I hope that the tools help you. Um, I'd love to see you in the class. Uh, people who want a little more help, they, 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 they hire me for private coaching. And these are the people that move the fastest of all. But you might be able to start with the free tools and uh, give yourself a boost today, how to work from problem to solution real fast. And so welcome, Chris. Glad to see you. And welcome, June. And welcome, Jeff. How are you? Just finishing up this Facebook Live. Thanks for hopping on, Jeff. Uh, Jeffrey David Gamble and I teach uh, a school in a school for network marketers called the MLM Millionaire Academy. Tonight is our class. We are covering the second of the... 10 core commitments and we welcome you to check that out too i'll post a link for that class as well you've probably heard us talk a lot about it people are jumping ranks in it we have the best i think it's the best methods i've ever ever seen in network marketing for both mindset and for skills so we'd love to have you check it out thank you all for joining on and we'll see you next saturday at noon for um meeting the tests of life thank you bye